version of the Quran do you recommend? Now, to respond to your question about Deuteronomy 18, here we have, it says in Deuteronomy 18, a prophet from among you, from your brothers, like me, like Moses. Who was Moses? Was he an Ishmaelite or was he an Israelite? He was an Israelite, not an Ishmaelite. The Lord your God will set up for you. You shall hearken to him. Here we have in other references, Deuteronomy 2, 4. Your brothers, the children of Esau. Our brothers, the children of Esau, in Deuteronomy 2, 8. And in Deuteronomy 18, 15, it says, From among you, from your brothers. So you see, whenever it was talking about somebody who was their brothers that were outside of the Israelites, it always qualified that. It always said the children of Esau, or the children of Ishmael, or the children of Edom. But when it was talking specifically about the children of Israel, like you, Moses, who was a child of Israel, it didn't qualify it. It didn't have to. Because that is who it was talking to. And I think Nat Demon, because he keeps getting dotted and knocked off the mic, should ask the next next question. If not, then I think we're going to end this because he keeps getting dotted. And there's no reason to dot Christians in the room in this debate. Next on mic. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Too. Well, I'd like to point out that Naktiman is not a Christian. He's a uh, Messianic Jew. He's not a Christian radical, so don't lie, all right? You're a Messianic Jew, Naktiman. Stop that, okay? Now, um, first off, a comment, if I may. Um, Army of Jesus, Ahi, you have lowered yourself further than any Muslim I have ever seen lower themselves in order to try to have a conversation with a horrible filth person, okay? May Allah bless you in every way, in, in massive amounts for your efforts, I mean, okay? Radical moderate, you have stooped lower than I ever thought possible for a Christian, really. I have never thought anybody could stoop this low, and you have done it. You have taken debate to a new low level. Now, very quickly, there is only one Quran. Only one. There are no versions. A translation is not considered to be a Quran. Okay? Secondly, the children of Ishmael and Isaac mixed together in the mixed multitude, leaving Egypt. Moses gave the Ten Commandments to groups. Therefore, they are of the same blood, and they received the same revelations, sir. Read your Bible, all right? Third, it doesn't matter if he was a Mishmaelite or not. He gave the commandments to them, okay? And that's all that matters. Third, okay, third, the versions of the Bible, and there are thousands of them, do not agree because the original texts of the Bible, the original Greek texts, do not agree. Things have been added and taken away, and we don't even know where the originals are, so how can anyone even debate the Bible since the Bible can't even be tr proven to be true in the first place? All right? It can't be. There is no chain of narration back to the original narrators. And lastly, but never the least, radical moderate, do you deny the prophet in the Bible that came after Jesus? There were prophets in the Bible named as prophets. Do you deny them after Jesus? All right? They are named. They are called prophets. They're in the Bible. Do you deny them? That's a question for you. That's the question for a uh, uh, radical moderate. Do you deny who are named as prophets in the Bible after Jesus? Okay? I bet you don't even know who they are. But go ahead, radical. Please answer my question. The mic is free. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, let's get the uh, discussion under control. I think Brother Stir, go ahead and take the mic after then there was a question for radical moderate I don't want to exhaust him uh, 
but we do need to have uh, one Muslim and then one uh, Christian. So, uh, R.M., do you want to answer Aisa before Huckster takes the mic? Or do you want Nat to take your turn? Is R.M. even in the room? Okay. R.M., you have a question that was posed to you. I don't guess you heard it. Do you want uh, to answer the question? I don't think you even heard the question, did you? Did you hear the question? Okay. Well, okay. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to allow Hulkster to go ahead and take the mic after Hulkster. Uh, we can go ahead and allow Nack to take the mic unless you want to go ahead and answer a question. I don't think, I don't know whether or not uh, Brother Hulkster has a question or not. But uh, we do need to have one uh, Muslim and then one Christian. So now we're having uh, Aki Hulkster up. And then we'll, we'll have either Radical or Knack. Okay? It's your choice. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Can I be heard now? Can you guys hear me? Okay, very well. The the most silliest argument that you can ever bring up, or you can ever see from a Christian, is uh, uh, that Quran has two versions or whatever. How many? I don't know how many versions he mentioned. But I would like him to see bring 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 your proof. Bring your proof. I want to see two versions of the Quran, or more than one. Okay, I want to see more than one version. But we're talking about what? We're talking about the Bible. You don't understand. What's in the King James Version? It's not in the new uh, in IV. Akhi, post the verses. Thank you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you. You see, verses taken out, removed. You don't have the originals, sir. If if any of the translations that we have has been uh, like uncorrupted or anything like that, we still have the original. We still have the original. Look at your Bible. You don't have any originals. You don't have any originals verses taken out and put corrupted look at the textual criticism it was created for the same sole purpose same sole purpose that you have a lot of verses being corrupted verses that is not even there mark uh, mark 944 matthew 1721 john first chapter 5 verse 7 what about these verses? Where did they come from? The story of the adulteress, Ya Akhi Sultan, if you can post it. The story of the adulteress, chapter, uh, from John chapter 7 to uh, uh, verse 73 to John chapter 8 verse 11 that does not even exist. How did it come in the Bible? I'm saying you don't know what is your King James Version is speaking. Go and read the preface to the King James Version, sir. I don't think you're very aware, very well uh, aware of, of what it says. This is the King James preface. It says what? No early, no two early printings of the King James were identical. Not even the two printings of 1611. Uh, uh, and new two modern settings are identical either. These differences are due to accidental human error as well as to intentional changes by printers and editors who sought to eliminate what they judged to be the errors of others and to confirm the text to their standards of English language. This is your preface. People, people, we have a, an honest Bible today, and that is the King James Version, confessing and admitting, and it says that it is indeed manipulated intentionally. Intentionally manipulated. Welcome, welcome to the original Bible. <laughs> the so-called original Bible. Look at that. There's also more into it. There's also more into it. You stay tuned with us. Look at this. Look at this. Ah, the adulterous story. Let me post the links to to provide to back up my claims. Right there. Huh? Look at the um, 
New American Bible, look at what it says. This is what it says. The unknown author whom we shall continue to call Matthew, it's talking about the authorship of Matthew, for the sake of conven uh, con convenience, draw, drew no only up to, go to the Gospel according to Mark, but upon a large body of material, principally saying of Jesus, not found in 